Hey there, my Stampin' friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. We are gonna do a little sneaky peeky today. Um, some of my team and I just finished doing On Stage, which is our convention with Stampin' Up, and it was virtual, and we got to have the ability to pre-order some things from our upcoming January through June mini catalog, which is awesome. And I see, I've seen the whole thing, and you guys, you are gonna love it. I say it every time, I know I say it every time, but out of the park, amazing, amazing things. So we're gonna play a little bit with the Dra Dragonfly Garden Bundle. This is from a suite called Dandy Garden. And uh, it will be, as I said, January through June mini catalog, which will be here before we know it, you guys. So if you do not have a current demonstrator that you work with and you are in need of a catalog, please hit me up. I will happily get one to you. Also, we're getting ready to enter celebration this year, which is super cool. So celebration is only going to be two months, January and February, and we have some really cool offerings. The one thing I love is that we are going to source local. So we are having our items available that are free during celebration will actually be sourced from North America. So I am super excited to support that this year. So let me tell you a little bit more about the Dandy, sorry, it is called the Dandy Garden Suite. There's lots of things that come in this and this is what we call the mega suite, but I don't have everything yet. So I have the Dandy, back up, Dragonfly Garden bundle, which comes with this super cute little punch. And what else comes with it? We've got some designer series paper. This is called the Dandy Garden 6x6 DSP. And it's got some beautiful colors here. Dandelions and dragonflies. Amazing, amazing uh, DSP with some crushed curry, mossy meadow, misty moonlight. So loving, loving these patterns and these colors. And then of course we've got, there's our dragonflies which coordinate with the punch, which is super cool, as well as uh, more designer series paper. It's a bit of a mess because I've been playing with it here today. The other thing we have is some new linen thread. This is Mossy Meadow and it is braided linen trim. So we have something very similar in the catalog now that is natural. We've got this one now that's Mossy Meadow. And this is kind of fun that you can actually fray it apart and it is actually uh, braided. So that's pretty cool. And then wait for these little cutie patooties. Look at these little guys, these little teeny ladybugs. When I first saw them, I was like, are they ticks? They're totally not ticks. They're not stink bugs. They are little ladybug gems. Them. Super, super cute. So let's do a little bit of stamping. Oh my goodness, did I bring my paper? Yes, I did. All right, let me pull out my supplies that we're going to need here. So I've got a piece of Misty Moonlight, and let me tell you that this is a case from, I think, an Australian demo, and I don't know her name, but I think she's Blue Rose online. And I saw this card and I was like, that is stunning. I need to make that. So I did, and we actually are going to create this in my stamp club this week. So my stamp clubbers, if you guys are watching, this is a little sneaky peeky here for you guys. All right, now I need to grab my boss machine. All right, because I want to do some embossing here on the Whisper White. All right, sorry, I thought I was prepared, but I'm not quite. So I pulled in my subtle embossing folder. Absolutely still love this guy. And you'll notice here that I have a little sticker on him that says clear. He is a Sizzix 3D embossing folder, and we do still carry this in our current catalog. It just isn't made by Sizzix anymore, and so there is a size difference. So mine is a little bit thicker than the ones that we currently carry, which means I need to use one clear plate when I emboss with this one, or it will not go through my machine. Oops, he's pulling in sideways. We can't have that. Come on, boss. I'm working with a very small space here. I love our new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Love it. He's so quiet. So there we go, we've got our DSP with our subtle texture embossing folder. Beautiful. 
Now I took a piece of that designer paper from the Dandy Garden, and I'm going to attach that on the bottom. I don't have you ready to roll here today. Seems sometimes with this seal, I have to wake it up sometimes. Just gonna place this down on the bottom. So it shrunk a little bit. Oh my goodness, my scissors are missing. Scissors. <clears throat> I usually try to have my little my little go bag ready, but I must have I must have been stamping some yesterday. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of adhesive on the back and attach a strand of our misty moonlight ribbon. So I'm just going to tack that around the back side. And then I can attach this to my card base. So we had a fantastic time in our virtual event. It was two and a half days. Um, of course, I would have loved to have been in person with many of my demo, demo friends, as well as my team. We should have been in Salt Lake City, but you know, COVID. And um, it just didn't happen this year, but it was so cool to still have celebration virtually. Oh my gosh, I am missing so many things. I am so sorry. don't normally do this. I know what my problem is. I'm filming totally at an off time. All right, so now we're going to pull in the Dandelion Wishes stamp set, which kind of works very well with this stamp set. And I've got a piece of Whisper White here and my Sew Saffron. So I'm going to stamp the, the image of the three dandelions, and I'm just going to stamp them kind of around the edge maybe. And then with Misty Moonlight, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. And this comes from the Dragonfly. There's lots of sentiments in this one. Um, you could use any of them would actually fit, but I'm gonna choose thank you for your kindness. I need some thank you cards. So we're just gonna do thank you for your kindness right here in the Misty Moonlight. Now I'm gonna need that, so I'll go ahead and leave it open. I'm going to attach this to a layer of Misty Moonlight. And then I'll add that to my card with some pop dots. And I've got lots of little nubbins here, and we're just going to use them up. It's in here. There's some black nubbins. That's all right. We can use those. I just did one in each corner and then always one in the middle for luck. So those of us who are at the on stage event are very fortunate and we get what's called a PPP, a product purchase premier, and we get to order some things even earlier. So I have an order that should be arriving probably on Tuesday of brand new items and oh my ache and pocketbook you're going to probably start seeing lots and lots of samples and ideas coming up here if you follow pinterest and facebook so now i've got my dragonfly and i'm going to ink him up with our memento black now originally i had thought i would um color him with our blends and I liked it, but it, it was just a little bit too dark. Uh, his wings got a little too dark for me. So I took the image that is in the stamp, this little fuzzy image here, and I stamped off one time and then stamped his wings. Stamp off again, now what you'll have to do is turn it and stamp his wings here. Now it's not perfect, it looks like it shouldn't line up, but it kind of does. And it's just like a little, 
not a solid image. It just kind of is a little bit of a fuzz, and so that works just perfectly. Now we're gonna take our punch, and let's see if I can. I wanted to leave myself a little room, and I forgot. Got so busy chatting with you that I forgot. I think we look lined up okay. Let's go up just a smidge here. Punch him out. And then, of course, a dimensional. Now, one thing that would be really cool, and I may do this after this video, is I'm gonna bend his wings a little just so he looks like he's actually flying, but put some Wink Estella on his wings. I think, oh, found my scissors. Um, I think that would be really cool to have a little shimmer shimmer on his wings. But it, there you go, guys. Isn't that just a super gorgeous card. Very, very simple. I love the fact that these dandelions coordinate. Uh, you're going to see some more dandelions coming in the next uh, catalog as well. Now, one thing I'm going to share with you real quick, this is totally unrelated, but something that I have going on outside of my regular classes is when COVID started, I started doing my classes to go for people who either are not local to me, um, not able to attend classes or, you know, there for a while we were shut down. So I'm continuing them. Um, so every month I have a class to go this month. The class to go is focusing on one of my favorite stamp sets from our holiday catalog, which is the For Unto Us stamp set. And so this is actually, I wanna shout this out now because my cutoff is going to be November 12th so that I can get all the supplies ordered uh, for my class to go. So for the class, you are going to get your own pack of Feels Like Frost designer series paper, which is stunning. It is real photographs on one side and then beautiful silver, shiny silver on the other side. You're going to get a package of blue adhesive gems and the Snowflake Splendor ribbon, which is awesome. It's like opalescent and glimmery and yum. It's everything. And it actually kind of changes color based on what you're using it. So that's going to be your class in addition to all these make and takes. So you're gonna get everything that you need to create these make and takes. You're gonna get two of every single card. So 10 total plus envelopes as well as um, a PDF tutorial. So these are the cards that you're going to get. And I'm telling you this now because like I said, this class is going to end on November 12th, which is coming up real soon. So if you're interested, make sure to message me. I will try to put the link in the comments as well so that you could actually register for this class. But the great thing is it doesn't matter if you are local to me or if you are somewhere else in the country, I can ship. So yay. Now the class is, um, $40, but you can add on the stamp set. So it does not include the stamp set, but you can add that on. So some of you already have it. So you could just order the class, get everything that you need, or you can add on the stamp set, which, you know, I told you, I loves it. I love the fonts. I am in love with the fonts. So aren't these, these cards just absolutely beautiful? So check that out. That is November's class to go. And again, I hope that you guys are going to love the Dragonfly Garden or Dandy Garden Suite when it comes out in January. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Happy Monday. Have a wonderful week. And come back and visit me next Monday for Movie Monday.